Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odoo Technical Developer. Uh, if you haven't subscribed our channel, please take a second and click the red subscribe button to get the updates of the upcoming videos. So the topic for today is how to install Nginx and set up reverse proxy. Uh, these are the simple steps that we will explain in this video and at the end we will be able to set up the reverse proxy and we will be able to access the Odoo just by adding the domain and without the port number. So if you don't know about this step how to add dns record you can just search about it uh, on the google and you will find a lot of useful uh, articles so i am not going to explain this step because uh, the this step is different for each uh, of the domain provider so we will start with the installation of the nginx sudo apt install nginx so um, copy this command and then run this command so this is the first command to install nginx is uh, nginx is already installed on my server therefore uh, it will not be uh, installed uh, again so but uh, for you it will the output will be different if it is not installed already and uh, the next step is to remove the default um, files uh, for the nginx uh, so uh, run this command so do a rm and then the path of that file that you want to remove uh, so that we can remove the default files otherwise the redirection will not work properly so copy this command and then copy the second command and uh, paste it to run it so this is it we have removed these both uh, default files uh, the next step is to create the configuration file uh, in etc nginx sites available directory so that we can set up the reverse proxy and add the configuration there so copy this command in order to create uh, the configuration file for example so i want to create the configuration file with the name odo.conf uh, so click enter and uh, then uh, copy this code here uh, i have added uh, some uh, uh, thing like uh, the upstream uh, we will have to edit uh, here something unique so that if there are multiple instances running on this server and for each uh, instance the upstream should be different so i have added odo 8134 8134 is actually the port number which is unique so therefore i have added it here in order to make it unique and then we will have to add the port number here by default the port number is 8069 and uh, we don't need to change it uh, here um, and here i have added like example dot uh, domain name dot com so uh, domain name is our domain um, and example dot is the subdomain so you can add your own domain here and after that uh, you will have to add uh, the upstream uh, keyword here also odo one uh, like whatever we edit here it should be edit here also and then edit here so copy this whole text uh, and then paste it uh, in the config file to edit uh, so uh, here uh, i will just change it according to my requirement uh, and I will just uh, pause the video for uh, some time. So the next step is to close and save the file. So for this purpose, uh, hit Control X and then followed by Y and then enter um, and then click enter, hit enter and then hit enter to save the file and exit. So after that, run the following command uh, to uh, create the link of the file you just created with the site's enable directory so this is the command that we need to uh, run to create the link so let me run this command now uh, it is uh, sudo ln dash s and then uh, etc nginx sites available slash odoo.conf and then we will have to create with sites enable so the command is uh, done and the next step is uh, to make sure if the configuration are correct so we will have to run this command sudo nginx uh, hyphen t so run this command so we can see the syntax is okay and then the test is successful so this means that the configuration are 
are correct and then we will have to run the command to restart uh, the service so let me run this command to restart o2 uh, so, so that we can restart the nginx service so hit enter and then go to browser and open uh, incognito window and then enter the domain that we have added in the config file like example dot uh, domain name dot com uh, we can access Odoo using uh, the URL that we have added. So this is it, how you can install uh, Nginx and then set up reverse proxy to redirect your uh, IP to the domain. And if you don't know how to install Odoo, you can visit our uh, YouTube channel, Odoo Discussions and then uh, you will be able to find out at the end uh, the video about how to install Odoo uh, on a cloud server this is the video and if you don't know how to connect to a cloud server you can watch this video and you will be able to find a step by step how to connect to the server so this is it for this video in the next video we will configure the ssh for the uh, domain thank you